God instructs means Allah instructs men to be nice to their wives and to treat them well to the rest of their ability and live with them in kindness Quran Sharif ki ayat okay the messenger of God said the most perfect of believers in belief is the best of them in character the best of you are those who are the best to their women the prophet of mercy Prophet Muhammad wasallam tell us that the husband's treatment of his wife reflects a Muslim's good character, which in turn is a reflection of the man's fate with his believer, means with Allah. Women in Islam are thought to be subjugated, degraded, oppressed, but are they really, means are we really following Islam? Are millions of Muslims simply that oppressive or are these misconceptions fabricated by a based media? And for women are rights over men similar to those of men over women? Quran Sharif. So these are the things from Quran Sharif, from Islam, not what the media is showing, right? Over 1400 years ago, Islam gave women rights that women in the West have only recently began to enjoy in the 1930s. Any recent observed it is only in the last 20 years that Christian England has recognized the right of women to property. While Islam has allowed this right from all times, it is slander to say that Islam reaches that women have no souls, the life and teachings of Muhammad. Men and women all descended from a single person, the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Islam does not accept for either of them anything but justice and kind treatment. So you see? what Islam is teaching us and what media and social media is showing us that in Islam there is no space for women and all while in England in British country in English country the women got the right in 1930s so you see the difference Equal reward and equal accountability. Men and women worship Allah in the same way, meaning they worship the same Allah, perform the same acts of worship, follow the same scripture and hold the same beliefs. Allah, the Arabic word for the one true God of all creation, judges of all human beings, fairly and equitably, Allah emphasizes the just treatment and reward due to both women men and women in many verses of the quran allah has promised to the believers men and women gardens and the which rivers flow to them plus to twelve therein and beautiful mansions in gardens of everlasting bliss quran sharif so these are the ayahs means we worship in allah same way Either it's man and woman, rewards are the same for both. Nothing is going to differentiate. So where in Islam women are less than men? Never will I allow the loss of the work of any worker amongst you. Male or female, you are of one another. Quran Sharif this verse shows that reward is dependent upon one's action and not one's gender. Gender does not play any part in how a person is rewarded and judged. If we compare Islam to other religions, we see that it offers justice between the sexes. For example, Islam dismisses the idea that Eve is more to blame than Adam for ex eating from the forbidden tree according to islam adam and eve both sinned they both repented and god forgave them both so you see this is our beautiful islam right but we mold it in our own way islam does not show differentiate right Equal right to knowledge. Both men and women are equally encouraged to seek knowledge. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said education is compulsory for every Muslim. You see, for every Muslim, not for only men, 
also great female muslim scholars existed at and around the time of the prophet peace be upon him some were from his family and other were his companions or their daughters prominent amongst them was aisha the wife of the prophet peace be upon him through whom a quarter of the islamic law has been transmitted other females were great scholars of of jewish students and they had famous male scholars as their students so you see women are given equally rights here for knowledge also so where islam is differentiating women and men equal right to choose a spouse islam has honored women by giving them the right to choose a spouse and keep their original family name original father name once married additionally here i am going to add something that still i didn't change my father name my father name is as shabista anwar and you all everyone knows that right so islam doesn't give any right to change their name after marriage this is not our culture this is not our islam okay so yes where we was once married additionally many have the impression that parents force their daughters into marriage this is a cultural practice this is a cultural practice not islam practice and has no basis in islam in fact it is prohibited it is not allowed at the time of prophet muhammad peace be upon him a woman came to him and said my father has married me my father has married me to my cousin to raise his social standing and i was forced into it the prophet sent for the girl's father and then in his presence gave the girl the option of remaining married or nullifying the marriage means ending the marriage she responded oh messenger of allah i have accepted what my father did but i wanted to show other women that they could not be forced into a marriage so you see yeah the difference what islam is showing and what culture is showing so equally are yeah, different while men and women have equal rights as a general principle the specific rights and responsibility granted to them are not identical men and women have complementary rights and responsibility aside from external and internal anatomical differences scientists know there are many other subtle inferences in the way the brains of men and women process language information and emotion just to mention a few means in a scientifically way allah has made women a delicate person means emotionally and physically sometimes she is like very sensitive while male are not up to that so this is her nature right a soft and delicate nature yes sometimes they are much more stronger than men it's not like they are weak but allah has made in a way and it's good so these are the same points a social biological a social biology expert edward o wilson of harvard university said that females tend to be higher than males in verbal skills in verbal skills females are higher than males empathy and social skills among other things while men tend to be higher in independence dominance spatial and mathematical skills rank related aggression and other characteristics it would be foolish to treat both genders the same and to ignore their differences islam teaches that men and women have complementary yet different roles because it is best suited to their nature god says and the male is not like the female quran sharif from quran sharif right so here allah has made means every human nature either it's male also every human nature is not same they are different right so how um only male and female can differentiate many women are not same it's even i am not like my sister so does it make difference no this is this is just culture and social media
forcing us to believe that Islam does not show this equality, but it's not right. Islam shows equality, but Islam sees women to treat like a queen, right? Our Prophet has set some examples. He used to do household household course with his wife, right? And we all know that. That's not the one who created no, and he is the most kind, the all aware, Quran Sharif part 2 of women's right in Islam coming soon, inshallah. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe with the bell icon, comment and share. And Allah Hafiz, do all we are the and sorry.